Okay, we'll start with the action. So first, uh, this is a summary of what we had done previously. I have written here the shapes. There is a rectangle, uh, isosceles triangle, right angle triangle, and here are its IGX and IGY. So these are just for your reference. You already have these results with you. If you want to tabulate these, you can tabulate it. It's better to you know understand it. And then we had also seen for circle, semicircle, and quarter circle. So these are the results that we need to remember because using these will be solving certain moment of inertia shapes. Now we need to find its moment of inertia about the x axis and about the y axis. Okay, so we'll be using the parallel axis theorem in this. You understand that this shape can be divided into a triangle then uh, there is this rectangle then there is the semicircle and this circle which is a subtractive shape so that is the fourth one right so in total there are four shapes in this uh, particular figure and each of them are having their own centroidal axis for example this triangle is having its centroidal axis somewhere here the rectangle is having its centroidal axis here i am talking about the x one okay then even the circle and semicircle are having at in along this line only so for each of them we have to apply parallel axis theorem because we are finding about x axis right so first is figure second column would be igx third column would be ig by then area h5 hx ixx and i by 5 so ixx is equal to igx plus a hy square and i by y is igy plus a hx square figure 1 is your uh, let us call them by their names so like a b f so a b f is your figure one which is a triangle so its centroidal moment of inertia about x i g x would be what thq by 36 bhq by 36 so b is 3 h is how much this r is 2 meters radius is 2 meters for semicircle so h is 4 right so b h cube by 36 which is 3 into 4 cube by 36 how much is this 5.33 5.33 okay Uh, let us uh, write it as 16 by 3 for for now and the final answer we will we, we'll approximate into decimals igy would be hb cube by 36 so it is 4 into 3 cube by 36 Area is half of the base into height, so so this would be six, I guess. H y, h y is from the x axis, so h y is basically it's uh, the, the distance between x and the centroidal x axis of triangle. So the centroidal x axis of triangle will be at a distance of four by three. So h by three, I'll write here four by three. H x. At what distance hx will be there? 2b by 3. Because see, this is from y axis. So the centroidal distance of uh, your gy is actually h by 3, but from the right angle. So it is 2 into 3 by 3, which is 2. So now we can find the ixx and i by by. It will be 16 by 3 plus 6 into 4 by 3, the whole square. And I by y is 3 plus 6 into 2 square. 
so this comes out of 16 i guess right so let us move on to the next uh, shape which is b c e f so b c e f is a rectangle its i g x is how much b h q by 2 b h q by 2 so b is 3 h is 4 again so it's uh, b h q by 12 which is 3 into 4 cube by 12 which is 16 i g y is h b cube by 12 so it's 4 into 3 cube by 12 9 right area yes, is hb bh on basically 3 into 4 which is 12 hy how much will be hy distance of centroid from x 4 by 2 so it's 4 by 2 equals to 2 and hx 4.5 3 by 2 plus 3 3 plus 3 by 2 so 3 plus 3 by 2 which is 4.5 ixx will be 16 plus 12 into 2 square and uh, so 9 plus 12 into 4.5 square. Okay. So I'll we'll move to the next shape, which is I'll take this semicircle. So semicircle is CDE. What is the moment of inertia IGX? 0.7 Are you sure? Pi r is to 4 by 8. Pi r is to 4 by 8. Because see here the IGX is this. This so yeah, see this GX is this axis for your semicircle right now okay so do not only go with the names this gx and gy will depend on how the orientation of that particular shape is in, in our numerical okay in the derivation of what we had done gx was like this this was this was gx right but in this case this is your uh, horizontal uh, centroidal axis and this would be your vertical centroidal axis gy so always remember the formulas by how those centroidal axis are oriented about with respect to your sections are you understanding this yes sir yes sir so this is pi r is to 4 by 8 and this is 0.11 r is to 4 R is uh, 2, I think, 2 raised to 4 by 8. And IGY will be 0.11 R raised to 4. This is 2 pi. This is 1.76. Area is pi as square by 2. So I think this is 2 pi. HY, what is HY for this? HY is 2. This is your HY. Two meters. Two meters, yes. Okay, one more thing I just forgot to tell. 
Now, since we are not writing the units here for anything, we have not written the units here, 16 by 3, nothing. So, we can mention the units in the top uh, row itself. For this IGX, now this is meters, right? Everything is in meters. IGX will be meter raised to 4. IGY will be meter raised to 4. Area is meter square. HY is meter. HX is meters. This is meter raised to 4 and this is meter raised to 4. So if you mention the units at the top, you don't have to mention it again and again at the bottom. Okay. How much will be HX? Six plus four r by three. Four r by three pi. Now next is our circle of diameter one point five. So its moment of inertia will be pi r is to 4 by 4 and right? r is 0.75. So the final i x 6 and i y y that has to be taken as negative for this. We can also write it right from the start itself. It's not a problem. But if you write this as negative, you will also have to take the area to be negative. So area will also we have to take in as negative which is pi r square. Its hy is is 2 meters. This is hy and hx will be 3 plus 3 6. So now the final is we just have to sum up everything. Check if you are getting the same answers. <coughs> We need to again find the moment of inertia about x and y. But this time the x and y are shifted. Okay. What I will be doing is, I will be dropping a line like this down and let us say I name this as f. So, not f, uh, probably some other point. G, okay. P let us say, point P. So, A, F, E, P is one rectangle which will be positive okay that is positive then let us say that this is o point o so o p c d is one more rectangle which is positive and this is uh, quarter circle which is positive the triangle then would be subtracted so in total there are four shapes so first shape that i am taking is a f e p ig x will be b h q by 12 so b is b is how much for a f e p so this total a c is 75 plus 35 which is 110 and then 110 minus you do this radius of the quarter circle which is 50 so then you will get this f e so it's 110 minus 50 which is 60 I hope you are understanding this. So it's bh cube by 12. So 60 into 90 cube by 12. Igy will be 90 into 60 cube by 12. Area is b to h. 
which is 60 into 90 x is at a distance of 40 right this is at a distance of 40 so our i g means h y will be if this is g x then this is your h y which is uh, 90 or rather what we can do is we can take the mod of that 40 minus 90 by 2 which is 5 and let us write the units here centimeter raised to 4 ok so this is your hy igx from igx it is and uh, hx will be now your y is let's say uh, your y is at 60 right so this is your igx the distance between igx and y is 30 The next shape that we will take is uh, the smaller rectangle. So this is point O. Your next rectangle is OPCD. OPCD. Its uh, moment of inertia is bh cube by 12. B will be 50. So this much distance is 50, right? And h is 40. So 50 into 40 cube by 12. And 40 into 50 cube by 12. Area is 14 to 50, which is 2000. H by. So it's a uh, IGX is here at a distance of 40 by 2, and your axis about which we are taking is at a distance of 40. So again we can write here in the same format mod, mod of 40 minus 40 by 2 which is 20 and its IGY is at a distance of from this point I am taking from point A means if you see then uh, even the height of this x axis and y axis the distance of x and y I am taking from point A only and uh, from that one point, one reference point, I am subtracting everything. So, for example, this hx can be written as mod of the axis distance about which we are finding, which is 60, 60 minus this gx distance, which is 60 plus 50 by 2. See, this can be written very simply also 50, it's 50 by 2 basically, but I, I like to go with that. Actually, I do these numericals a lot of times in Excel and even in like some coding or something. So I have that mindset of, you know, taking only one reference and then finding everything from that point. Uh, next we'll take this uh, again positive area which is 
ODE, the quarter circle. So the IG axis 0.11 R is to 4 by 2. The radius is how much? 50. Okay, tell me how much is HX for this and HY for this? So yeah, it's the distance between its centroidal axis and the axis that we are taking, which is 4 r by 3 pi. And here also again this 4 r by 3 pi only. The next shape it would be your triangle which we are subtracting which is FAB 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 IGX So for this triangle the base is 75 height is 90 so BHU by 36 75 into 90 cube by 36 and IGY will be 90 into 75 cube by 36 and again this is negative it's a negative area its area is half into base into height the total uh, distance of, of x from a is 40 and uh, this one will be 90 by 3 so 40 minus 90 by 3 which is 10 and hx is this total distance is 60 and the central distance from point A is 75 by 3. So 60 mod of 60 minus 75 by 3. Summation I X X. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Shall we solve enough. one more numerical? Just two areas. Shall we solve? Yes. Sir. So first, what we need to do in this is we are asked to find the moment of inertia about centroidal axis. So we need to, and it's not centroidal axis of individual areas because that we already know moment of inertia about there. Centroids. It's the centroidal axis of this entire shape. So first you will have to find the centroidal distance and then you have to take the moment of inertia about that axis. Let us quickly find the centroid. So what are things we require for that? Let's say figure and then we need the area. We need a xi need yi, need summation eixi so figure 1 is, let us say this is a positive one which is a quarter circle let me name this so o, aob area will be pi r square by 4 xi so I am finding from this point O, the reference point I am taking as O. So it's 4R upon 3 pi. Y I is again 4R upon 3 pi. E I X I A I Y I we can do. Then we have this OCB, which is a negative area. It's pi minus pi 
r is 10 pi r square by 2 it's xi is at a distance of 10 10 sin b So this is 8000 by 3 minus 500 pi. You will get summation AIXI is 1095.8703 and summation AIYI is 2000. So X bar will be, I we also need the summation A, right? Summation A is 50 pi. So X bar is 1095.703 upon 50 pi which is 6.9765 centimeter y bar would be 2055 which is 12.7324 okay so our central axis our x bar is 6.97 so then this is 10 so this is your new one, new axis about which you need to find. This distance is 6.9765 and the new x-axis will be 12. So somewhere here x dash which is 7.324. Now let us find the moment of inertia since we have found our central axis. The IGX for A or B will be 0.11 R is to 4 by 2. Area is uh, pi R square by 4, which we have already found out. No. HY. So, what will be HY? So, the IGX will be something like this. This is this is your I, this is GY, and this is GX. So, we need the distance between your new X dash and GX. That would be your HY. This is your HY. How much will be that? First, you will have to find this. This is 4R upon 3 pi, right? So it will be 12.7324 minus 4R by 3 pi. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. So here, what you get is HY is 12.7324. Seven three two four minus four r by three pi. R is twenty by three pi. And H X will be six point nine seven six five minus four r by three pi. Are you getting the same thing? Next yes, is sir. OCB. Yes, sir. OCB, which is a negative one. So IGX is. Yeah, what is IGX for this? pi r raised to 4 by 8 or 0.11 r raised to 4 0.11 point one one r raised to 4 0.11 r raised to 4 Sir, how we wrote h y? Here, this one? Yes sir, h y so uh, we already have a new axis at a distance of 12.7324 and uh, for this quarter circle its uh, centroidal axis igx is this gx which is at a distance of 4r by 3 pi from this point 
four hour one. So this is your H Y, right? The distance between your mu axis about which we need to find the moment of inertia and the I G X, that is the centroidal axis. So twelve point seven three two four minus four hour by three pi. H Y for this will be so H Y for your this is I G X and this is G X for your semicircle which is again at a distance of four r by three pi so it's twelve point seven three two four minus four r by three pi for your semicircle. And your y is at a distance of oh sorry yeah this is at a distance of six point nine seven six five and i g x g x is at a distance of 10 sorry so again this will come negative but we are anyways taking a mod 6.9765 minus 10 it's minus 100 minus 50 pi into 8.4883 square and we have minus 1250 pi minus 50 pi into 3.0235 square Summation i x x will be this was on this part. So this is minus one two four one seven point seven eight one eight, and this is minus five three six two point nine four two five. So i x x we get as two zero four zero point nine seven five eight centimeter raised to four. And I by Y we get as 4154.9858 centimeter is to 4.